that's come out this year. Zadzisa coming through from the lovely Janet Manyoa. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Pretty lady. <laughs> Thank you. Great How to are be you here. doing today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm great. Thank How, you. How's your Wednesday going so far? Uh, it's been all right. Hectic, yeah? but busy is good. So, yeah. So sorry to drag uh, you here, like, yeah, first thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I, I really, I was just fingers crossed <laughs> she can come in today. Yeah, yeah. But thank you so much. Thanks. Nonetheless, um, should I call you Mrs. Manyoa, Miss Janet? Can I call you Miss Janet? That's all so right. That's nice. Miss Janet. That's yes. fine. <laughs> Janet. All right. Oh, Janet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just want to know, let's just have, like, just have a chilled session. Sure. I know there's a lot about you. Malta Award winning, 20 nominations, mm-hmm. nine awards, two mm-hmm. albums. <laughs> Started singing, like, 13. That's fine. Mm-hmm. That's all the glamour. We just want to take it back to Miss Janet. Mm-hmm. When Miss Janet wakes up in the morning, mm-hmm. what is the first thing? that you do huh first thing is switch off my alarm okay <laughs> what time do you wake up usually i it fluctuates but i'm supposed to let me give you the ideal okay i'm supposed to wake up at five five yes okay uh fitness um uh get re- get the kids ready for school uh-huh and then um, after the rest, meditation. Wow. Yeah, oh, wow. Then. I think you're the first um, Zimbabwean personality I've spoken to actually meditate. That's very interesting. Very Can interesting. I ask why you meditate? Because I, I need to, I meditate on the word of God. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Right. So okay. that's reading my word. And um, if I need to just think about my life, okay. <laughs> my spiritual life, uh-huh. my my relationship with God. That's the time I do that when the kids are gone and okay, just before I prepare for 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 work. Okay, so yeah. you have an eighty five. Yes. Wow. What do you do <laughs> other um, than make hit songs? <laughs> I'm an accountant. Oh yeah. wow! So you're good with money. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay. So let's go way back. Let's go way uh-huh. back. Um, you are how many? Okay, in your family, how many are you? I'm the first out of four. Four. Yes. Four girls, four, four boys. Four, two boys, two girls. Two girls, two. Okay, yes. wow. So you're the eldest. And so there the was eldest. a lot of responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was that like for you? Uh, it had pressure, uh-huh. I think, and uh, self-imposed pressure okay. as well. But um, I, I think I have a supportive family and nice. it, it all panned out well. And I think um, because I was the first I, I took on so much responsibility mm. and I learned to multitask a lot okay so that's why I still can even now okay so where did you grow up where were you born I was born in Harare okay and then my parents uh, just loved small towns so the first part of my childhood was in Chegutu okay and then the last part of my childhood was in Banket. Oh, yeah, interesting. So yeah. you're a farm girl. I'm a farm girl. You're a farm yeah, girl. Yeah, straight from Majika Day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then uh, after that, uh, I then came to Harare. Okay, so high school. High school, were you naughty? Were you quiet? <laughs> were you popular? Did all the boys like Miss Janet? How were you like in high school? I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> um, I think I was naughty. Really? Yeah, first part of high school. Mm. Before I, 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 I don't know. I think I was, I, I just was happy to be in boarding school. Okay. But then it, it then all fizzled away and, um, yeah. Okay. So you started <laughs> your first song. You wrote your first song when you were 13. Yes. How did that work out? Was it, are you from a musical family or you just like to write? Um, I think I was exposed to a lot of music because my, my dad would blast his uh, stereo <laughs> every day with uh-huh. with gospel music. He listened to the likes of um, Jimmy Swaggart, wow. uh, Freedom wow. Say Mayo, Brian Sivalo, and, uh, and the, uh, Maranatha and all those other guys. But um, it then really... Um, inspired me to write because I then realized at a young age that oh I've got an idea of a song okay which I haven't heard before so f- 
from there, I started writing a bit more and I had a diary that I would write my Ooh. notes. <laughs> okay, so this song yeah. you wrote, was it a love song? Was it a gospel no, no, song? No, it was a gospel song. Okay. Yeah. Then after that, I did try my hand in, in love songs because I was also growing of up. Of course, teaching. yeah, little <laughs> but, pretty, pretty. But that didn't last, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I then just write gospel songs okay mm -hmm. we've got the lovely janet manu in studio with <laughs> us today so i asked her to just give me the top five songs you're currently listening to right now on your phone in your car mm -hmm. and she said okay well lady came but they're not ready for us like sweetie anything <laughs> goes and this is zfm we love you enough to play all of your songs uh -huh. so one of the songs that she did happen to uh to mention was kirk franklin with love theory uh he released his album uh the it's called love theory right he released this no, year. The Love Theory was a single. A but single the, form? The album What's called, it? Um, I'll check on my phone. But okay, we'll yeah. check for it. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful album. So that's yeah. one of the tracks that we're going to play for you right here on ZFM Stereo. Uh, the Big Show. Wrapping right now with your girl, Lady K. Thanks so much for tuning in and allowing me to keep you company this wonderful Feel Good Wednesday. That uh, the lovely Miss Janet uh, is bumping to right now. Okay, so... You were in high school. You figured out that you can write songs. What then moved on to you saying, okay, I think I can write, now I can sing. What mm. was that progression? What took you there? Um, well, I, I just kept my, my diary of many songs and I didn't... Uh, my, my the honest truth is my idea was I'm going to give them to someone one day mm -hmm. who will then sing these songs and... Um, be famous if 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 i i do it myself uh -huh. i won't use my name huh. yeah oh, okay i'll just be an anonymous singer okay so you wanted to be like a ghostwriter at the yes, beginning yes, and then eventually yeah. like okay if i'm gonna sing yeah. you're gonna be like a milli vanilli kind of thing uh, I don't <laughs> know that one, but yeah. <laughs> okay okay yeah. nice so, so uh -huh. then my 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 parents would always encourage me why don't you record and i'll be like nah nah but uh misty manual had the trick so he then convinced me to do the first song with um comfort manyama okay miss manual your husband. My husband okay where did you meet your husband <laughs> let's hear the love story <laughs> We'd love to hear the i love met story. my husband at work at work yeah is he also an accountant yeah wow two accountants in one house <laughs> yeah, i feel sorry yeah, for yeah. your kids everything <laughs> is well accounted for <laughs> wow okay yeah, so yeah. how did he propose to you like what was, what was, what was like listen your you know what might be listening it's okay <laughs> honey you're a grown woman you're a celebrity <laughs> and people want to know how you guys fell yeah. yeah well well our our um um what do you call it? Courtship dating uh, phase was very short. Okay. So when we were friends for a long time, and then when I became his girlfriend, he he did not waste time. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he then proposed. Uh, I think <laughs> I don't want to say the dates, but yeah, on my birthday, and it was really oh, sweet. Wow! Yeah. Is your husband a romantic? What's the most romantic yeah. thing, ah, Mr. Manyo? Ah, Listen, girl, I said this is girl chat. We're having a chat. We'd like to know what is the yeah. most romantic thing Mr. Manuel has done for you? Eish. Or just one of the yeah. many? There are many, but um, he's not a good cook. Okay. But um, he once attempted to make a meal for me, <laughs> and that was, that was uh, very sweet. sweet. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> okay, so you guys got married, and then you ended up ha having children. How many mm -hmm. children do you have? I have three children. Okay, daughters, mm -hmm. sons? Uh, two daughters, okay. a girl, a boy, and a girl. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right. So on Friday, we're mm -hmm. going to be celebrating the International Day of the Girl Child, oh, 11th of October. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think you know how it is. We all try to encourage all the girlies out there to go out and aspire to be whatever they want. How mm -hmm. are you finding raising two girls in mm -hmm. 2019 compared mm -hmm. to how you were raised mm -hmm. back then, mm -hmm. uh, back then in the days? Mm -hmm. I think the pressure is on for this generation. Mm -hmm. uh, Every parent needs to be hands-on. Uh, the annoying things, like some of the uh, some of the things that my daughter, who's uh, in grade two, asks me now, yeah. are things I didn't even know until I was form chakuti. You right. know, so <laughs> it's uh, they are bombarded with so much information. True. So one of the things that's a priority for me is. Um, 
always following up what they know and right. uh, decluttering their minds in the best way I can and um, maybe watching what they're watching and telling them no we don't mm. subscribe to that mm-hmm. and this and this because I, I can't take them out of society of but course I can at least tell them our values and then teach them the right thing so that when they know the wrong thing they know that well we know the right thing at least right so you've got boys and girls there's yes. always this huge debate that goes on when mm-hmm. it comes to raising girls and boys mm-hmm. that sometimes mothers are so much more lenient on the boys <laughs> and the girls go through so much what um, do you think about that as a mother and you've got this family that you're raising how are you coping uh, with the boys and the girls in the house we kind of made a decision because uh, i think the one is a truth that moms usually have got a soft spot for the boys boys mm-hmm. so we made a decision to split the responsibility wow. so the girls are daddy's girls and daddy makes sure he <laughs> it's his job okay to make sure then the straight and narrow oh. but um and i will chip in here and there but for the boy it's more of my responsibility because nice. uh, for mom to do everything, it's a bit hard. But of course. the girls will listen to their father more, and that's a fact. Wow! Yeah, lovely Miss Janet yeah. Manyo in the studio with me right now. I uh, wanted another track that she said that she's lovely, that she's loving hearing right now is uh, JJ Harrison and Mercy Chinua, which is called "Excess Love." Tell me a little bit about this song. Why do you like the song so much? I just love the arrangement. I love Mercy's energy uh-huh. and her, her performance. Uh, I, I see so much of myself in her. So when I look at her, I'm just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big show with your girl, Lady K. Good afternoon. Love, 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 love. I think when I was actually on my way here, because I used public transport, it was actually being played in the combo I was in, and they kept oh, repeating wow. it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> That is how much of a powerful yeah, song is. The arrangement is right? amazing. So, yeah, yeah. when it comes to your music, mm-hmm. um, I think the one thing, I think as, as youngsters, I'm 32. Oh my God, I had to, I had to remember. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and even those younger than me, um, there's always that discord between them and gospel music. Because they're like, no, we can't relate to it. Okay. It doesn't sound fun Mm -hmm. how are you making your music so relatable to me and much younger people within zimbabwe what are you doing what's your inspiration behind all of the music that you make Hmm, i think because i'm also young uh whatever i release Uh out there obviously has to resonate with me first um before i put it out there but i also feel that um in our bid to be relevant with this generation Mm -hmm. um we don't have to conform as gospel artists to what the world is throwing at us so okay um there is definitely need for gospel musicians to seek god to hear what god wants for them because it's not about putting the latest beat it's it's not about that it's just about um finding that space where 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 god wants you to fill and okay. then fill that space properly okay. I, I don't know if you get what i'm no, saying I get but you. I yeah get you. i i think it's about music that also resonates with me that can okay. help me connect with god because gospel music is all about connection it's all about salvation it's all about bringing a message of hope and um yeah so I think it's something that ministers to me that I think will also minister to something else. Okay, there was an interview uh, I read of yours where you were talking about um, gospel musicians and having a controversial past. Mm-hmm. Um, I think one that we all know very well is Kirk Franklin. He said he had a very troubled past, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. I think for him, mm-hmm. because he opened up so much of his life to mm-hmm, us, mm-hmm. it was so relatable. Mm-hmm, How mm-hmm. do you feel about that, the, the gospel aspect and the controversial past? Does it go hand in hand? Does it work? Does it not work? Is it tricky? I don't think it's about looking for controversy. Right. It, but it's about living your truth. Okay. So, uh, the Bible says the truth will set you free. So, as long as you are truthful in in what you are doing it is going to help someone else because there's nothing new under the sun something that has happened to to you has probably happened to someone else so i think it's about being truthful and those people who have gone through something 
who are genuinely um, who genuinely have a testimony to testify yes. and that will help help someone else but it's not just about trying to meet up controversies or mm. trying to just put uh, put out a controversial side of your life which is probably not truthful or not necessary right. i think it's just about um being led by god to reveal what will help the next person Wow. Yeah. Beautiful words coming through right there from the lovely Miss Janet. Uh, my name is Eddie K. Thanks so much for tuning in to the big show every single Monday to Friday between 12 and 3. Today's Feel Good Wednesday. I'm hoping and praying and wishing that all the music that I'm giving you is making you feel good this Wednesday. And I know all the music that Miss Janet likes <laughs> that makes her feel good is yeah. being played right now. And of course, it's 22. And of course, it's our 2020 headlines. When we do come back, we're going to continue with her top five songs for today. Coming through right there with Shami. So I've still got the lovely Miss Janet Amanyo in studio with me right now. Mm -hmm. So there, other than being an accountant, mm -hmm. a mother, mm -hmm. a multi-award winning singer, mm -hmm. a great friend, great auntie, everything. Mm -hmm. You also have this uh, amazing organization which you call Inspire 20. Mm -hmm. Please do tell us a little mm -hmm. bit more about that. Um, Inspire 20 just came from uh, the idea that I have a lot of young girls, especially boys too, uh, but who write me and say, can you mentor me? Can you help me with my song? Can you do that um, for me? Yeah. So it, it got a bit overwhelming and I thought maybe if I meet up with 20 girls it was on my birthday when i first had the idea if i meet up with 20 girls a year i can be able to help those uh and have a more focused relationship with oh wow them. so they have access to talk to me and they can send me their songs and i i can so it's really um aspiring gospel musicians because that's the okay. trade i'm in yes and that that's what i know and um so yeah that that's just the idea but we also just sit and catch up and talk some some of them just want a big sister or a little sister mm -hmm. to speak to yeah. <laughs> and yeah that's what's inspired all about but I, I, I feel it will grow bigger yeah. and well um, done, though. yeah it's just about inspiring the next girl that's actually amazing yeah. okay it, it, talking about inspiring mm. let's talk about an experience that you went through it can be a devastating or a bad experience. Mm -hmm. You can speak about it. You can you choose not to speak about it, whichever. But I want to know, how did you manage to overcome it? What did what does Janet do mm -hmm. to overcome any negativity? I mean, your personality, you're going to get a lot of bad, mm -hmm. regardless of what mm -hmm. music she sings. Someone's going to say something silly on the internet. Exactly. Exactly. You know, how exactly. do you overcome bad situations thrown at you? Um, I think the key for me is being accountable and okay. uh, always having people around me that I can talk to. Okay. I think there was a time where I, I felt quite you know you can be surrounded by a lot of people but still be lonely of course yeah that is so very, very um, i i make an intention to be in touch with my pastors with my friends for anything that i go through i need to speak it out i need to to relate it to someone so that uh, i don't carry the burden myself so okay. that is totally important for me i have to speak with a beat to my mom, to my husband, to my friend, to my... I've got a few people that I know these are my go-tos. Okay. And no matter what, I can be real and I can tell them how I feel. And that's how I overcome. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. The lovely Janet is here in studio with me today. We're giving you her top five songs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for a quick ad break. And when we do come back, I'm going to be playing another song. It is by Benjamin Dube featuring Kayam Tetwa, You Will Never Leave Me. What does the song mean to you? It's just reassurance that you will never leave me. God loves me and he'll never leave me. No matter what, whether things are great or things are bad, he'll never leave me. You heard it right here, live and loud on ZFM Stereo. Um, I'd like you to give me some advice. Um, 
girl to girl, you mm-hmm. know. I'm 32. I'm in a relationship. I'm a personality. Mm. Um, things go well sometimes. Things mm. don't go well sometimes. Mm. As both female and um, personalities, you know, the industry is very harsh. Yes. It's tough. Yes. It's yes. not easy. Yes. And obviously, with the with the current situation in the country, things are getting a little bit harder for us. Yeah. What advice would you give to me and to even another girls out there who's listening and maybe wants to follow in maybe. A present like a presenter for me or maybe mm-hmm. a singer like you what advice would you give to a young girl um facing what challenge you say facing facing just going day-to-day life what's day the advice to you okay, just give okay. to any girl going about her life um my advice would be um you need to be resolute okay yeah um, you know those January resolutions that we make? Mm-hmm. You need to be resolute that this is what I'm going to do and you do just that. Okay. The unfortunate thing that we have sometimes, especially as young girls, is we flip-flop. Maybe the brother is saying another thing in our ear, then we've stopped the dream all together, then a new one comes and <laughs> he's now putting us in a different direction. I think we need to be resolute Uh, and when I say resolute I don't mean we need to be um, appear tougher than we are or we we um, lose our humility and all but I think you need to to say I'm gonna do this and you reach out for it okay you find every every excuse in the world to make sure you you do it because that's what you want and you shouldn't let any winds come and blow you either side no. you need to be resolute and once you're resolute you and you look at your goal and you remain focused mm-hmm. you will reach your goal so basically be be a leader not a follower yeah, yeah. even if you you know at a certain point for you to be a good leader you need to follow, follow right yeah so while you are following be clear i am gonna do the best i can to be this assistant and i'm gonna excel at it and nothing is gonna shake me from doing my work diligently and that's a resolution wow that's amazing thank you so much i just want to know what is your favorite bible verse oh one of the three million (laughs) many but one that i always say is my favorite verse is make it a point to lead a quiet life and mind your own business I always say it, mind, mind your own business and just drink water. Four verse just? 11. Wow. <laughs> yes. Lovely. Thank you so much, Miss Janet. Thank it was you. an honor having you here. Thank you. The reason why I brought beautiful. you here, yeah. Feel Good Wednesday. You oh. make a lot of people feel very, very good with oh. your music. Thank you. You've touched hearts, oh. souls, spirits, you name it. You have touched it, girl. And we, we love you. We do. Thank you. I Thank really you. appreciate that. Doing what you're doing. Because we yeah. need you, hey. Like, we need you in the mornings <laughs> when, when, when things are going tough. Always get it. Play. <laughs> <laughs> So you can help us get through the day. No, thank you. I appreciate you guys. Oh, wow. Thank right. You. Now, the last song that I'm going to play uh, that the lovely Miss Janet said uh, she loves to listen today that's keeping her going is called uh, I Keep Winning by Dr. Toomey. And of course, it's time for me to love and leave you. Thank you so much for allowing me to keep you company this wonderful Feel Good Wednesday on The Big Show. Coming up next, we've got the lovely Miss Red and the oh-so-hot Mr. Simbalimbi. Of course, uh, the rush from 3 to 6. As for me, you can catch me on Friday during uh, The Fix. That is from 9 to midnight night right here on the big one ZFM Stereo. So me, have yourself a good one.